I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode 58. So this week at DJ Projects, there's going to be a lot of deliveries, a lot of grabs, and more importantly, we're going to be doing some training. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Be active in the comments. Let's get to it. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another weekly episode at DJ Projects. It's a pleasure having you guys here. If you could do me a favor and like this video, let's aim for we'll go for four thousand five hundred likes on this video. If we can, if you're a brand new round here, please consider subscribing because that does help the channel. And definitely, guys, comment down below because we love the interaction with you guys. And can anyone recognize this garden? And this fence, we did this last year, I believe. Was it last year? Not quite. Not quite. This Was it this year? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Can't quite remember when we did this one. It was a good few months ago yeah, anyway, yeah. guys. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking not too shabby indeed. And why are we back? Well, we are back because this customer is wanting the fence on this side now. So he's wanting this fence to wrap all the way round and finish it off. So it's nice and boxed in with this nice lovely bow top fencing. And rather than take this fencing out, this customer wants us just to go in front. And we are more than happy to just go in front, literally just a post width. So it'll be nice and tight up to that fence, running down to our old existing post just there. Of course, we've got this stump here, guys. It's a big one, but it's got a slight bit of movement. So I'm thinking if we get the digger in, we can get that out. Get the digger arm just down there and pull it away it's old it's rotten it's been cut a few times by the customer so that's always a bonus but when you're doing quotes guys these are things that you've got to look out for we mentioned that we'd bring you along for a quote i'm on quotes all day so i may be able to bring you along for a few but these are the things that you need to look out for how hard is that going to be to get out if you haven't got a digger quite hard probably guys you're going to be digging it for a while you're going to be on that for an hour hour and a half maybe two hours if you're doing it manually hopefully 10 minutes with a digger see how many bays you need guys we know this is one two three four five six roughly as long as they're full size maybe they are maybe they're not but they're around about six bays in length we're going to six foot tall as well remember guys so we're going off this art house shed here so that's going to be around about there at bow top style running like this so you want it to sort of match to that post there so remember that when you're doing your quotation but other than that this one is pretty simple pretty simple indeed when we did this fence previously, guys, customer mentioned some landscaping. So I'm going to speak to my dad in a minute on about bringing this path all the way out to around about those slabs, give or take a bit of artificial grass, maybe some resin running down the side. A nice, lovely landscaping job. So who knows? We might be doing this one in the future. But like I mentioned, guys, I'm on quotes all day. So I'm going to bring you along for a few quotes. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. Hopefully you'll enjoy this episode. So I'll see you on the next one. Hello, guys. We are back and we are on another quote. And we are looking to change this fence in here today. Oh, what a lovely day as well. We definitely brought that sun back from Turkey, it seems anyway. All the way down to the corner. Let me just show you what we'll be doing on this job. So this fence here, guys, it's around about four bays. So it's three full-size bays and then a four-foot bay here. But the four-foot bay is on the left-hand side of the garden at the minute. The customer wants a smaller bay down there because he's having a new shed and it's going to be covered in that side so he wants to see the full size bays to the bit at the left hand side of the garden makes sense right the plan is to have it in this style our standard style concrete posts concrete gravel boards and fence panels timber feather edge so we'd have all of this in the style we do and we've been here before guys let me just show you at the front let me know if you saw the video and you remember the job so then who remembers this Lovely little fence installed on the front, raked all these stones up to it. I enjoyed doing this one. It is true, guys. If you do a good job, the customers will always have you back. I don't know how long it's been. I don't know if it was this year or last year, but customers always have you back to do the rest of their garden when it's a need. So smile, wave, and do a good job. I'm finding it hard to film today, guys. I'm sorry. I don't want you to have a bit of a boring video to start this week off. I'm just finding it a little bit, bit hard to, to film because obviously, not everyone knows who watches YouTube, so explaining that and then trying to film the, the job, a little bit awkward sometimes. But these customers, they are from YouTube as well. They've watched that previous job on YouTube, so they had no queries and no qualms about me filming. Same as the one this morning. But yeah, 
I've got a few more. I've had 15 to do today. I think I've got one, two, three. I've got three to go, guys. I've done 12, I've got three to go. I've got something awesome to show you when I get back to the yard from a subscriber as well. He's done all these by himself. Let me just show you. Oh, tell me that's not awesome. Tell me that's not awesome. Oh, the hell. He's got loads in here as well. He's absolutely loads. So when I get back to the yard, I will show you. If I can show you another quote and what I'm thinking about, a bit more in-depth one, I will. I'll try and do it, guys. But I can't promise anything. But you'll know in the next clip. So here we are, guys. And I don't think we've ever filmed here before. But you can just see our sign there. And my mum's wondering, why is there no customers? Why is there no customers in the shop? Well, off of the ring road, He's blocked off. There's been a head on collision. Hopefully everyone's all right, but no cars or traffic are allowed this way. And from the opposite way, running down that way to our yard, there's no cars allowed to go that way. So it's a little bit quiet in the yard. So I was wondering what's going on. And now we know. Recovery's here though. And it looks like they're moving stuff. So hopefully they can get that move fast and uh, everyone can get back to normal as long as everyone's all right. I've messaged dad, tried ringing him. He must be grabbing, told him, don't come this way because you're not making no progress. Hopefully he's been filming today though because I've not really had much to film. But is what it is, right? Sometimes you get these days. So what's good guys? We're back in the office now working out these quotes. I've shown you those pictures earlier of Big Red. I just want to show you a few more that he's done as well. Look at these guys. Look at Little Red. These are perfect. We've got Dad with his tattoos at the cab for a Big Red grab. Love it got another one of little red obviously a bit of a background some more big reds pretty awesome he's done some more let me show you look at them i think he's made us look a little bit older than 44 in 29 you've done us dirty here mate as good as they are you've done us dirty and what about these a bit of merchandise we've not asked the chap to do these but we very much appreciate it thank you very much mate definitely appreciate these they look wicked. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. And does anyone recognize who's done these? You recognize this, guys? You should do, because he sent us in before. I want to say a massive thank you to you, mate, for supporting the DJ channel and the brand and sorting these out and letting us do that fence install for you. I think it was early this year or late last year. Massive thank you to that, mate. Just worked out your quote. Hopefully that'll be getting to you soon. It's been a busy day of quotes for me. Like I said, hopefully my dad's filmed. If he hasn't, I know he's been on the grab and I know he's been busy because uh, he's still not back yet. It's gone half past four. So hopefully he can get himself back and we can get to that gym. When he gets here, we'll catch back up. There he is, look, the mystery man. It looks like my dad and Jordan have been busy today. We've got some topsoil there, haven't we, guys? Some screened topsoil. So if anyone is interested in any screen topsoil, don't be shy, give the office a call and we can sort you out. Look at it, that is some fine stuff there. Well, that's it guys, that is another day from me. You haven't saw dad's clips yet, but you're about to. I didn't really get a chance to film much because it was just quoting. If I get another chance to film some more quotes this week, I will. I believe I'm on training tomorrow, but that's it from me. Let's go and see what my dad's been up to. All day. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and me and Jamie have done an early one. I picked him up today. Look, he's actually come out right. of the wood store to give me a hand unload this, get this unloaded, and get to the yard. It is 22 7, so it's an early one. Early bird catches the worm, so let's get this off. Get back to that yard. That's another one delivered. Back to the yard we go. We're back in the yard now. Now I'm in the grab. I've got a grab to do for one of my builders mates, he's dug a soak away, got to chuck a bit more soil back in for him and do the grab, take the soil away, and then we're on bags, and then we're on forklift training. So, show you a bit of today, hopefully, and a bit of forklift training. Job. What we are doing, grabbing a lot of this waste, loading up, and we're going to drop it in that hole over there. Then the remainder, what's left, we're going to pick up and get rid of it. First load on, 
Now we're just going to drop it over there. I even made a dent in it. So let's go again. So we've probably got one more there. It's all been filled up over there. It's just going level across there with a curb line and then I'm going to get some topsoil. But I've got a load on here which we're going to get take back now. So we're at the yard. I screened that topsoil back at the yard and I'm here with... Hey man, look at it. I've had a few subscribers to the channel. Recognise Lucky. ZZ Top, is it, was it? Did it say ZZ Top last time? And Magic Man. And Magic Man. <laughs> He's on this little job. He's doing the grid system on here. Just like we did. But yeah, we've grabbed all that soil for him and we've dropped all these bags off for him and we've took a bit of waste with bushes here and that. The next time you see us, I'll be back in the yard. I'm back at the yard now. Jordan's gonna empty that for me. Chuck the soil through the screener. Get there rid of them bags. I've got my forklift refresher. So I'm gonna do that now. I'll see if I can video a little bit. You might like me, I don't know. Take my tickets into Chelsea. Toilet, washed up, forklift training. And then back on the grab, drop one torn off top soil. Jordan just putting the bag of soil on for me. Jordan will be coming with me. I have passed my forklift test. Yes, I've passed my forklift test. It was only a refresher, but yeah, I passed. Not with flying colours, lab, you know. I got two questions wrong, so disappointed in myself, yeah. Because I was rushing, misread the question, I got two questions wrong, so yeah. Even I get it wrong. But Jordan, just taking the forklift back now. I'm gonna put the grab down and we're on our way. So here we are, one ton of topsoil. There we have it sitting nice and pretty and this guy is a subscriber happy days we left the logo pointing out to the front so everyone can see it now George is going to put that leg away and then we're on our way me and Jordan are back on here now we're going to grab all this get it all tidied up lads are gone tidy that bit of bunting up there and we're on our way We've got that little bit left. We've got a full load on the back. We'll take this back to the yard now and then come back and get this. Oh, it's been an accident where the yard is. A bit unfortunate. Stevie's let me know. So we're trying to worm our way through it. We're... This guy's just stopped in front of me. I don't want to go. I'm green. Oh, no, we are not that. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> so yeah, he's told me I've got to wiggle my way through, let the police know and they'll let us through. But yeah, don't look like we'll be getting back to that other one. Looking at the time, we'll probably get this screened off and then we'll have to call it a day and grab that tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully we'll get back to the yard. So the struggle is real. Look at this traffic, we're at a standstill here. Our yard is to the right. We need to be getting across this traffic. It's just brought Nottingham into a standstill. There's been an accident near enough outside our yard. So look at it, it's just an absolute joke. One little accident like that brings Nottingham into a standstill. I hope they're all right, whatever it is. We've seen a lot of ambulances and police and stuff. So yeah, when we get up to the yard, We'll probably have a go at screening this off and see what time it is. So I'm back in the van. I've just checked my clips as I passed them over to Steve uh, and Jordan's not done the soil screening video. So I really, really do apologize, guys. I've got to pick a bit more up of that stuff. As you've seen, the traffic was mental. So yeah, that's another day at D and J. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. And we are doing a delivery. Me and the Jord, the Jord. Put some there, put some there. Panels there, posts, nicely stacked up down there. Bit of a tight one because the skip's in the way. But yeah, we're coming early. The time is 25 to eight. 25 to eight. We're coming early, get this out of the way because Jordan's got... Forklift test. It's forklift test. 
with Steve uh, and Finn. They've got theirs today. Theirs is out of balance, and I think I do believe Finn's doing his conversion so he can drive the telly truck. But yeah, we're gonna take some pictures for socials and then we'll be on our way. We're back in the yard now. Looks like Stevie's done that delivery for me, so happy days. What we're we doing now, I'm gonna jump on the grab. I've got me water because it's gonna be a hot one today. Well, hot for us anyway, not hot for you Australians. Oh. Americans, I suppose. But yeah, it's going to be hot for us today. So I'm going to grab my tickets. We loaded it up last night. We'll be on our way. Right then. We're in the grab. I have got bags I loaded on last night. Nice, easy one. I've got the remainder of that to pick up to run through the soil screener. I've got two bags to pick up, which have rang me up. Uh, one of my friends that's got some decking in. I've got three ton of re-rag. Re Recycled road stone. Whoa, I'm off again. <laughs> and I think that's it for the day. The lads are on the forklift, Steve's on his forklift, George's on his forklift, Finn's on his forklift. So Ant's over in the concrete side helping them lads out. Jamie's making all his dates and his specials. Bernie's not here yet, it's a little bit too early for Bernie. More in the Chelsea are in the office. All done. I believe Jordan Humphreys has already done this because he saw us a refresher and the new lad, he missed it. So next time he'll be put on his. But yeah, have I missed anyone? I don't think I've missed anyone, for sure. So yeah, I'm going to ring my customers up, ring Wayne up to start with, tell him I'm going to be on the way and we'll get this dropped. I'll give Wayne a phone call, it's not quite ready for me. So what we'll do, we'll drop the uh, free sharp sand off and the cement off first. Give him a little chance to put the membrane down and then I think he's going to drop the bags and we're going to slice the bottoms. So yeah, we'll get this one done first. Put red I read on the ticket, put as close to gate, back gate as possible. We ain't going to get down there. Come here. Let's come say, why don't I go on the drive? We're not going on the drive. We're not taking an 18 ton wagon on the drive. So yeah, we'll probably get about here. Just enough room so I can get that car off. So we're back on this job. I've got Wayne's pea gravel there. He's gonna slice the bags. Let's get it done. I might be back here later, unsure. Wayne's gonna spread it out and see what he's got. So we're back in the grab now. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and get the recycled roadstone, uh, take that over to the destination, then ring up, see if them two bags are ready because the lad's gonna meet me there. Then he wants another bag of pea gravel, and then we'll drop that off, I think. Yeah, we'll do it that way. So yeah, we'll head over to Oakfield first. Well, I've got to ring Bernie. Bernie's just, I've had a missed call from Bernie, so we'll see what she's after. And then we'll head over to Oakfield. Yeah, it's black at Oakfield. We've got a three ton loaded on. Let's get it dropped. Just see in the mirror there, I've dropped it over this hedge. It's on quite a busy road, and I didn't want to block the road up too much. So pull up the road a bit, ring my next customer up, and see if it's going to be ready for me. That's it. Just rang him up. He's in Oxton, so Oxton's about 15 minutes away. I'm about 15 minutes away. So let's head over there now and go and grab these bags. I didn't show you them bags. I'm gonna pick up these two bags here from my house. Yes, we haven't resined it yet. This is the reason why, because this man here is sorting as an ensuite and bathroom app. So that's them two bags grabbed. I'm gonna leave that one there. I'm gonna fill that up. They're on the back, but yeah. Look at the weeds coming through here. So I haven't done this yet. I've got to relay them and all, I'm knocking them all over. But yeah, can't do anything really until these boys finished doing that ensuite and bathroom. Good morning guys, you have saw dad's clips first and it is me, Jordan and Finn when he's took his overalls off from the concrete side. We are on a forklift training today. It was dad and Jamie yesterday on a refresher. It's me, Jordan and Finn on a full course thing today. I'll film what I can. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to because obviously bathroom sort of stuff. So, see what we can do. 
no swans today. Right on cue though, look. Can't do anything without this bloody tram. Got Jordan there. You've got Finn there getting some training, but no swans. What's up, mate? People love seeing you on camera. Hello. For the new subscribers or for the ones that don't know, this is Hugo. And Hugo has got diabetes, hasn't you, mate? But you're plodding on, you're succeeding. Little man. So that is the forklift training done for today, guys. I didn't film too much, as you've saw, because we just wanted to concentrate and make sure we get everything right. It's the theory test tomorrow. It's the practical test tomorrow on the forklift. Pretty confident for all three of us. I think we should be good. We'll find out tomorrow. Might go and give the lads a hand in the concrete side because it is half past 12. Plenty of hours, plenty of time to be productive. So I'll catch up a little bit later if you do anything worth filming. So yeah. I've had my taco break now. Steve has decided he wants to drive. So he took me off driving. A little bit of an headache. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I'm struggling a bit. I've been drinking loads of water, loads of fluids. But it's not that. I told you I'd catch up if I did anything interesting, and now it's interesting. Lane's taking full advantage of the sunshine. Yeah, it's gone a little bit further than what I thought. So we brought them two more bags, so we'll drop these two bags down here. And then we have got the job to clear up from yesterday. Looking good with the stone there, ain't it, guys? I come here a while ago and this wasn't done. It was just doing the artificial grass in the back then, but as you can see now, it's having some stone. And that makes it a lot easier, don't it? Second one now, guys, you just get a Stanley slice and get out of the way. And then that stone comes down nice and easy, just like that. Can't tell you how easy it is in compared to using a barrel and a shovel and trying to get it out that old fashioned way. Having this grab, makes it easier for a lot of people, including ourselves and tradesmen. And I know you all want some of them glasses. Wayne's asked if we'll uh, get rid of some concrete. So we're gonna try and get rid with the uh, with a grab rather than picking it up by hand. Trying to save the back guys. We've got a machine that's capable of picking up a ton. Why do we want to pick up the concrete? <laughs> drivers, they screw drivers. That's it. <laughs> Easy work. So that's a lot of 20 mil pea gravel. Looks like you've been here a couple of times on dad's clips. Customers just got us some bottles of water as well. We do appreciate that because you might not be able to see the sun right now, but we're having that heat wave in England. It feels like 30 degrees. And like I keep mentioning, we've brought the sun back. Brits, we can't win, right? We moan when it's hot, we moan when it's raining, and we probably moan when it's a bit mild. You can't please us, can you? So we're back, guys. Back here with Dad, this is the first time I've been here. I think you guys might have been here a few times already now. Like they've been busy, it's quite a bit of piles here. It's, it looks like it used to be a big pile. I remember seeing that bit when I was editing this video. Yeah, just that bit to get. So we're back on this one, we're clearing this up. I just rolled that bunting off, took the cones back away, we left it there for the builders. Stevie's doing this one, and I'm gonna sweep up. With the same brush, he's had a new head and a new handle. But yeah, it's the same brush. So we'll get this tidied up and then we'll show you how we leave it. There we have it. The scars are from these. So these are scraping along the floor. So that's why you can see all these scars. Not from the actual buckets. The blade's really, really worn on that bucket. But yeah, it's from them. Lots and lots of boulders in them. So that's all loaded up now. Just gonna put the pad away, put the brush away. Then we'll head back to the yard. So here we are guys, just topping up the wagon. Get some nice hardcore on, red air so we can go to Oakfield. So once this is all done, I'll start heading there. And that'll pretty much come to the end of the day. Van's full, so we can head off to Oakfield. Big shout out to George for giving a hand. We're done, guys. You can just see it in the mirror, hopefully you can. I know it's not focusing, but we are done. And yes, we're at Oakfield. Hopefully my phone won't fall out of the, uh, the tripod, guys. And I'll just show you, you go for a wheel wash here as well. I think you're supposed to all the time. I don't know if some HGVs choose not to, but there is a wheel wash so you don't contaminate the roads. The key is, 
Not to fall off the ramps. <laughs> like a big bath for lorries. Oh yeah. Get the wheels nice and washed. Keep that dust on. Keep the road tidy for residents around the area. But with that said guys, back to the yard we go and we'll catch up there. Back at the yard guys, it is 10 past four. I can see the, the await van, which is the 04 because of the private plate, but it is an 08. It's loaded. It's got a decent size delivery on what we got. I think we've got six befores. We've got some trellis, we've got some posts, some gravels and a bit of post fix. And that is going to NG12. NG12. I can't think where NG12 is off the top of my head, so I'm going to go and find out. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to put my phone down and I'm going to put the uh, address in my phone in the sat nav. <laughs> Look at all these goodies we've still got to go through. These are from America as well, guys. I believe the guy paid $75 to ship some chocolates over from America. To Nottingham, England. I think it come in this. Yeah, look, United States Postal Service. Now, if that is not dedicated to the cause, I don't know what is. That is a proper true subscriber there playing $75. What's that, like 50 quid? 50 quid delivery. Crazy. Go and give the lads some biscoffs this year. So, the lads have been munching on those biscoffs. It's just gone five as well, guys. So, I think that is it for today. Seeing what my dad's been doing. You've seen what me, Finn, and Jordan have been doing on this bad boy. I've got fear and test tomorrow. Hoping for a good day. We'll let you know and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day at DJ Projects. It is Thursday. It is around about eight o'clock, quarter past eight. It's red hot already. Me and the chap have just took off all of this. I thought I'd show you this deliverer because I just want to show you something. You all ask when people are going to be using hedgehog gravel boards. This customer has decided to go for free. So let's just show you. Hedgehog gravel boards, guys. They're going to be going here somewhere between the two neighbors. So the hedgehogs aren't locked in to one garden. Climb through those holes nice and easy. But yeah, told you we use them. Told you we sell them. I believe I'm on the limit of that diamond of that delivery, guys. I think we're very, very close to maybe not being able to do this one. We're reining it in a little bit, guys. Reining it in. But no, uh, guys always use us and we very much appreciate it. So now back to the yard. Go start that forklift training for the for the fearer. Do the fearer and then it's practical on the forklift. So look forward to that. So when I get back to the yard, we'll catch up then. Back at the yard now, and it is training time. So once I've done a little bit of that, I will catch back up. So what's good, guys? We've done the theory. All three of us have passed our theory. My dad got two questions wrong, and I got 100%. So we, at least if we leave with this business, it good ads. As you can see, we're doing the forklift part of the training now. I've, I've come out of the way. I don't want to put Finn off too much, but he's smashing it. He's doing a good job. I've done mine. I believe I passed if that was passed as the test. No one said failed anyway, so we're... Uh, it's Jordan's turn next. I'll film it, I'll set the camera up. Um, conspicuously so he doesn't know and he's not under pressure. And we'll go from there.
was definitely all past guys. You just saw Jordan doing that and that's how he passed his forklift training. We'll get his reaction and see what he thought to it um, in a sec. Just here at the petrol station in the grab. Can you see that in the back? Can you see the prices there? One pound. 92 basically one pound 93 you think it's bad filling up your car at one pound 92 93 in a diesel trifling this bad boy up bloody hell we're being robbed guys we're being robbed blind 100 liters nearly 200 pound breaks my heart so 100 liters it was sort of halfway between the the red and the white line so it was around about there 100 liters 200 pound got us half a tank crazy Look, Jordan's been to pay and he's got us a Costa as well. Not off the, the work car, guys, but out of his own money, spending his own money on Costas. Every time I jump in the grab and I see Costa Cups here, I think Jordan and my dad's had one, so. Our turn, yeah, it's our turn, our turn. I said to him, Jordan, that you will give a little sort of update on the forklift training experience. How did you find it, mate? Did you think it was good? Good. Easier than what I thought. Yep. Glad I got that ticket now. Got the ticket, mate. That's all that matters, right? A pass is a pass. It is, it is. <laughs> Right, to so the first grab of the day. So now I'm gonna get all that clear. I think this is a mighty white job. What do you reckon, guys? Bloody a lot of edge. We won't be taking this though because that isn't obviously included in the hedge removal. So we'll start grabbing from there, putting it on. And then I believe this is why Jordan's with me. He's got the easy bit of pulling this back down here. So <laughs> now we'll take it in turns, guys. Look at that, massive. Let's crack on. Sorry guys, but I think we're full. We need to tidy up all the edges. We're gonna put the sheet over as well, strap it all in, and then head to the tip. So once it's all done, we'll catch back up. Sheeted, two straps, just gonna nip off a few more around the edges and we are good to go. And there's just one more load left. Can't get it all on guys, better safe than sorry. So Jordan's just taking it off now guys, we're at the tip. Some of you will ask, I'm sure, how come you just don't tip it down? Well, I mentioned in the last video, if you've not saw, I mentioned because our our tailboard kicks up like this it doesn't drop all the way down if it dropped all the way down it would probably come off lovely but it doesn't our tailboard stays there so a lot of it when it's trying to push through this gap it gets caught along that bar there so this is why we have to get it off because you see how it comes out guys it comes out in one big mass so it only takes a few grabs it's a lot easier getting it off than it is getting it on when you're actually grabbing it for the job but that's why we have to grab it guys and have a look sometimes it does amaze me how we got all of that on the back of big red wait until we're using mighty white god we're gonna get some bloody privet on there aren't we yeah get rid of this and then back to the yard and me and jordan are gonna be going to deliver some bags sharp some bags and that's your lot guys that's what we've got next So that's these delivered now then. Just, uh, we just had Jordan stand next to him for a picture. It's on screen now. If you're following us on Instagram, you'll be able to see that picture very soon. But for me and Jordan, it's back to the yard and we're going to Oakfield once we've loaded this van. Oh, I've called it a van. I know people are going to get triggered. It's a lorry, sorry.
thinking that's the last bit for now. There's some inside as well, so we're gonna grab some from inside to make sure we've got a nice full load. So now we're all loaded up. Back at the petrol station, we pretty much started our day in the grab at, because we need to get some drinks. Thankfully, we're not running out of fuel because we don't want to be paying one pound 93 again per litre. We're almost running out of energy, so we're gonna get some drinks on this hot, hot day, and then we're gonna get some, uh, some sweets as well, just build up those energy levels because it's, uh, it's hard work, sweating. We enjoyed this sun when we was in Turkey. I don't know about enjoying this sun when we're trying to work outside of it. Bloody hell, man, it's hot. I need some glasses as well because I'm gonna have crow's feet. I'm always looking like this, so it's not gonna be no good for my face, is it? Um, so I need some glasses. I'm gonna buy some cheap ones for work, I think. But we're gonna get these drinks. We're gonna head off to Oakfield. And uh, the time that it's half past two. Day might be finished then by the time we get back, but we'll let you know as soon as we know, guys. Hopefully, you're having a good day like we are today. So then, guys, me and Jordan, we've been to Oakfield and we've emptied Big Red. That is nice and clear, ready for Dad tomorrow now. Me, Jordan and Ant actually sorted out five ton bags of sharp sand as well, so they're also ready for Dad tomorrow. So he's got a head start and kick start on tomorrow. That is always a bonus for a Friday because it's gonna be a hot one tomorrow as well. Told it's 32 degrees, sort of mid-afternoon time. That is bloody, bloody hot. We also got back, we loaded this van um, up with a delivery for tomorrow. Me and Finn are going to do that in the morning around about 7, start half an hour early again so we can get ahead of the game guys, that's what it's about, trying to always be ahead of the game if possible. Nah, we are heading home like just mentioned, it's been another long day, it's been a hard day because it's been sweaty um, and humid, it's not been easy. But yeah, that's another day for d &J. me and Finn, we'll see you in the morning on that delivery. Bye-bye. So good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day at D&J Projects. It is Friday. It's the end of the week. We all love a Friday, don't we? Me and Finn have done that delivery that we mentioned yesterday, at the end of yesterday. And I'd just like to show you the fencing that these customers have done. It's looking very nice. Definitely not too shabby. Look at these two bays here, guys. That is very, very, very good indeed. These customers didn't know how to do fencing before, but through the videos, they've managed it. Look at that to the shoulders and the collars. Perfect. That is exactly how we like to see fencing. They've got the custom bay for this one now, so they'll be able to do that. We're having one more bay there with the materials just there for a bit more privacy down this driveway. It's going to look very good, very nice. There's a bit of a crater here. It's been filled in a bit. Lovely idea with this. I like it. Lovely big hole as well now, so if they need to move that post either way, it's going to be super easy. That's what we like to see. But we'll cover that back up because uh, our Jordan from our yard, you won't be able to find him again if he fell down there, would you, Finn? <laughs> he would be gone. <laughs> but yeah, look at that, guys. Not too shabby indeed. So then, we've done those deliveries, me and Finn. I've been back to the yard and now I'm doing quotes. I believe my dad and Jordan are out on the grab. We're going to go and see what they're doing soon. I just thought if I could do some quotes and bring you guys along for them, I will. I can't promise anything, guys. I told you it's a little bit awkward sometimes for people that don't know that we're obviously we film for YouTube explaining what their job is entailing. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at a quote now. And I've just had, it's just been a weird experience, this one, because I rang the, uh, the, the, I rang the customer to let them know that I'll be here. Um, and I said, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yeah, that's fine, no worries, I'll see you soon. See you in 15 minutes, okay, no worries. So I'm here, 15 minutes later, I've got out of the van, I've knocked on the door, customers come down and said, I've already opened the gate, wicked, no worries then. They go inside, I go through the gate, I go into the back garden as normal, everything seems normal so far. And then I'm standing in the back garden for, I don't know, it felt like two minutes and I'm thinking to myself, what's going on then? Like, is someone gonna come out and tell me what, what they weren't doing? Because I'm many things, guys. I'm not a mind reader, I'm not a mind reader. The garden needed all doing, so I can't pick which side of the fence sort of needs replacing because it sort of all needs replacing, but it's at different sections. So I don't know if they want it all doing. Is it running down the side as well to the front? So I knock on the back door, no answer. So I'm thinking, this is a bit strange now, what's going on here? I walk around the front, I knock on the front, no answer. And I'm thinking, I've just spoke to you. Like, I know you're in the house, I've just spoke to you. Um, so, I'm sitting in the van, outside the property. I'm gonna give it a minute again. No one wants to come out and tell me what they want to do. What am I meant to do, guys? I don't wanna waste their time, I don't want them wasting my time. Time is precious, time is money. But yeah, 
pocket quotes in and uh, they don't want me to do it. Strange. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, tell you because it's the weirdest experience I've had on a quote. So I thought I'd let you know. But yeah, I've got two more. I've got to go after 10 a.m. for this one because it's a school run, which is absolutely fine. It's uh, near the yard, that one as well. I've got two at NG6 near the yard because our yard is NG6, so that's fine. Uh, 10 a.m. and I believe between 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. So it is now coming up to 10 o'clock. And seeing as no one else is coming out of here, I think we'll start heading to that next coat. If I can film, wicked. If I can't, is what it is, right? See you soon, guys. So then, guys, I've finished that quotation now. And now I'm on to another quotation for a lovely pair of subscribers. And this is what we're looking at right here, doing this fencing. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully you can hear me. I should have brought those mics that we bought. But let me just show you what we're after on this job. Look at them. All of this. It's all once replacing. Can you see the posts, look? Look at them. They've gone, haven't they, guys? They've definitely gone. They're probably ready to crack open. If you was to pull these panels out, take the support away, start sliding new panels in, there's a chance that they would start cracking away. Look at the gravel boards. They're definitely redder. We're not sure how long this fencing has been in. Maybe 20 years, maybe 30 years, who knows? It's definitely ready for a replacement. All of this returning all the way down here as well. That is ready for a replacement. You can see where the style changes from the concrete to the post boots and the spikes embedded into this concrete path, this big concrete path as well. It's a big one, that one is driveway gates. They need replacing as well. They're not in the worst condition, but if you can have new fencing, may as well have some new gates. And then you get to the back, guys, and this would be taller. The fencing at the front would be four foot. This would all go to six foot now. Running down the slight slope all the way down to that corner. It's a nice big one as well, this one. Around about 10 bays down that side. And then is this bit. It's quite a big bit as well. It almost equals around about 10 bays down there. It's in two sections because it's at an angle and then an angle running that way. The neighbours is a little bit of a drop as well. Nothing too crazy. So nothing to worry about. You don't need extra long posts, extra long supports and more concrete. It's just around about a foot's difference. And can you see that one there? Now the gravel board's running up the hill now. We're not sure if it's from that corner foot right there. I've had a peak over and there is a bit of rubbish sort of pushed up against the bay. That never helps, guys. If you cannot put stuff against your fencing, that always helps. It's going to make it last a little bit longer. It's camp rail fence in there. It's in good nick. Why change it? it? Looks very good indeed. There's a return of that fence running down there as well. And these posts, oh, they've seen better days. They've seen better days, these ones. Look at them. Shouldn't be able to pick the post off like that, should we, guys? No tops, should be a good one. It's not the hardest job, but it's not the easiest job. That is for sure. It is definitely a big job. Around about 40 bays, say 45 bays maybe. Driveway gates, can't wait. Hopefully we get this one. That quote has got to be good to get that job. So yeah, on to the next one, guys. We'll catch you up a little bit later. That quote is pretty much all done there. Really, really lovely couple. Really nice, really genuine people. Subscribers as well, so I'm sure they'll be watching this. So I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys for being welcoming watching the videos it really does mean a lot to me and my dad and the d and j team but yeah that's it for quotes today back to the yard i go whilst i go to the yard let's go and see what my dad and jordan have been up to on this fine fine summer's day everybody looked a friday me and jordan been grabbing our first one we didn't manage to video it because we had to be in and out so we are outfield tipping it off now let me show you the queue Coming outside the gate, we pulled over the other side of the road so traffic could still get by. But yeah, this is the busiest I've ever seen Oakfield. They're in and out there, one of Oakfield's new wagon. Lovely. So yeah, as soon as we get in here and tip top, we'll show you our next one. Two bags, let's get them gone. There we have it, all gone. Gonna nip back to the yard now because we've had a phone call from Maureen saying Gary Kurt needs his delivery now ASAP. Was picking a digger up and he wants to use the digger before we get back. So we've just dropped that boy, it's not one today. Got a sweat on. So yeah, just down there, we've dropped some roadstone. We've done a little grab. Now we're off over to go and get a bag of sand and sand slash soil. Sand slash soil. I don't know what that means. But yeah, we'll go and grab that. We'll video this one. Then we'll take it all back to the yard and then we've got five bags of sharp sand to deliver it back at this job. So here we have it, the Juicen's bag. George's gonna grab it on, I'll get the tickets and lead it.
another one ticked off the list. Now we're heading back to the yard. We'll probably put that through the screen up. We're not going back to the yard. We're going to Arnold to pick two bags off of BP paving because we've got them left on the pavement over the weekend. So we're going to grab them, then we'll screen this off, and then we've got one more grab to do, I think. Guys, you saw what Dallin Jordan's been doing, and now it's me and Jordan on the grab in this 30 degree heat. This is not ideal doing work outside. Everyone always says, oh, but you love it. I bet you love working outside. Not when it's like this, mate. Oh my God. Too damn hot. We've just delivered some sand to someone that is sort of like getting ready to lay some blocks. Shoveling hardcore. Oh my God, it's 30 degrees. Gary Kirk, if you're watching this, this ain't the weather for that. Bloody hell, it's hard work, this. But yeah, it's grabbing time. It's a little bit windy, so I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, we're full. There's no way I'm gonna get that on without being unsafe. As you saw, we've got a full load now. Me and Jordan are back in the wagon now. We're heading off to Oakfield, go get rid of this concrete mix. And I think we may be done for the day and done for the week, and this video is uh, it's a hot one <laughs> to finish this week, guys. It is so, so hot. No one wants to be working in this weather. Hopefully you've all got your sun cream on or you've been taking it easier inside with some air conditioned officers, cars, vehicles. It was bloody hot today, but uh, we'll get to Oakfield, we'll tip this off, and then we'll catch back on. So she's unloaded now. Half past four. Better late than never, right? Better late than never. We're a little bit warm. We've got, we've got ham, cheese, and barbecue sauce. Almost like toasties now. <laughs> As you can see, Finn is sorting out some bags. Got some there. I believe he's making some more for the last half an hour of the day. They've all done in the concrete. You can see Mason right there, emptying the bin. Love it. It's his birthday tomorrow as well. He's brought crispy cremes in and some sweets. Uh, happy birthday in the comments for Mason. Coming up to end of day, I'm just gonna get the vans, take them inside. We don't need to load the vans today because we'll load them tomorrow because there's no deliveries on Saturday. But there will be deliveries on Monday, so we'll load up tomorrow for Monday. But I think we'll film a separate video tomorrow for a Wednesday special next week. For now, I'm going to get these vans in, eat these sandwiches and count down the minutes until the day's done. Five o'clock now then, and the lads are just getting one more seven foot smooth gravel board because we've got someone from Halifax coming up to get two seven foot gravel boards. You won't believe it guys, but they're coming up from Halifax. So thank you to whoever you are and coming up to get those gravel boards. We very much appreciate it. We appreciate the custom. Thinking that's another day and another week for d &J. It's been a good one. It's been one full of training, full of panel replacements and post extenders, which Jamie's made been a good week been a good week all in all back to the big fencing installs next week hopefully you stick around for them because they're going to be some bloody bloody good ones i promise you that for now we'll see you in the next one